I am going to solve this integral using two substitutions. The first one is going to be a u sub and the second one is going to be a trig sub. So the answer to this integral is on the right hand side. So you may want to try this integral before you follow the steps in the video. So we are going to start off by just uh, multiplying the power in. So if you have x raised to the power 4 squared, this one can be written as x raised to the power 4 times 2, which is x raised to the power 8, divided by 1 plus x raised to the power 6, and this one squared as well, and then dx. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to split the x raised to the power 8 into um, two terms. So the first one is going to be x raised to the power 3 and the next one is going to be x raised to the power 5. And then I'm going to multiply that one by dx on top here divided by 1 plus x raised to the power 6 and this one squared. And now let's do our first substitution which is the u sub. Right. So I am going to let u to be equal to 1 plus x raised to the power 6 the whole denominator without the square. So that implies that du is going to be equal to 6x raised to the power 5 dx. So that implies that um, x raised to the power 5 dx, this one can be replaced with du over 6 like this. So in place of this one, I'm going to replace that with du over 6. And now, how do you find an expression for x raised to the power 3? From our u sub, uh, we know that u minus 1 is equal to x raised to the power 6, right? And so this implies that x raised to the power 3 squared is the same as u minus 1. So you can take the square root on both sides. When you take the square root on both sides, this square will cancel the square root. And what you are left with is x raised to the power 3 is equal to the square root of u minus 1. So in place of x raised to the power 3, I'm going to replace that with the square root of u minus 1. So we can take our integral from the x world into the u world. So i is going to be the integral x raised to the power 3. I'm going to replace that with the square root of u minus 1. And this one, I'm going to replace that with du over 6. So this one is du over 6 divided by 1 plus x raised to the power 6 is u. That is our substitution. So this is u squared. So i is going to be, this 1 over 6 is a constant. I'm going to bring it out in front of the integral. And I have the integral of the square root of u minus 1 all over u squared du. And now we are at the point of doing a trick sub. So here I'm going to do a trick sub. I am going to let u to be equal to secant square of theta. This is what I have. Oh, this one can be written as secant of theta squared like this. Now let's differentiate. Find an expression for du. So du is going to be differentiating. This is going to be 2 secant of theta. Then we differentiate secant of theta. The differential of secant of theta is secant of theta tangent of theta and then d theta. So that implies that du is going to be equal to 2 secant square of theta tangent of theta d theta. So in place of du, I'm going to replace with that. And now we can take our integral into the theta world, right? So i is going to be equal to 1 over 6, the integral of the square root of u is secant square of theta minus 1 divided by u squared. So u squared, so u is already secant squared, so u squared is going to be secant to the fourth power of theta times du. Du is 2 secant square of theta tangent of theta d theta. 2 is a constant, it comes in front of the integral, you have 2 over 6 which is 1 third. The integral of secant square of theta minus 1 is the tangent square of theta. That is this guy here is tangent of tangent square of theta all over secant to the fourth power of theta times secant to the second power of theta tangent of theta d theta. So this is what our integral has been reduced into and now we have one third the integral uh, secant 
square of theta is going to cancel two at the bottom here leaving secant square of theta and now what you are left with is this one is tangent of theta tangent square of theta in the square root is tangent of theta times tangent of theta d theta all over denominator is secant square of theta so i is going to be equal to one third the integral of the tangent square of theta all over the secant square of theta d theta and this is equal to one third the integral of tangent square of theta can be written as sine square of theta over cosine square of theta divided by secant square of theta can be written as one over cosine square of theta and then d theta so what i'm going to do here i'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by cosine square of theta so when i do that multiplying the numerator by cosine square of theta i'm going to be left with the sine square of theta the numerator divided by multiplying the denominator by cosine square of theta just going to get one and then the theta this just reduces to one third the integral of the sine square of theta the theta and now how do we integrate this we know from the double angle identity that the sine square of theta is equals to one half into one minus the cosine of two theta so i'm just going to replace that in our integral and then we can integrate that this is one third the integral of one half one minus the cosine of two theta d theta and this is equals to one over six outside the integral of one minus the cosine of two theta d theta now let's integrate this shall we this is one over six now integrating one in the theta world is theta minus integrating cosine of two theta is one half sine of two theta so this is one over six and then theta minus one half sine of two theta can be written as two sine of theta cosine of theta as a double angle identity and now this is one over six into theta minus sine of theta cosine of theta so this is our integral our integral is now one over six theta minus one over six sine of theta cosine of theta now this is the resulting value of our integral but it's in the theta world we have to move back into the x world before we move back into the x world we have to move back into the u world first we have to go back to our substitution so our substitution is u is equal to the secant square of theta right that is what we are going to use to move back into the u world so we are going to recall our substitution which is u is equal to the secant square of theta so that implies that secant of theta is equal to the square root of u now we can draw a right triangle here with our right angle and our angle here theta uh, secant of theta is the square root of u over one now secant of theta is hypotenuse over adjacent so the hypotenuse is always a line opposite to the right um, triangle so this one is the square root of u and adjacent here is one now we have to find the opposite that is the line opposite to the angle theta we can use the pythagoras theorem so when we use the pythagoras theorem we can find the opposite so the pythagoras theorem says that the hypotenuse squared is equals to the opposite squared which is o squared plus one squared this is o not zero and now the square of root u is u minus one is equals to the square of the opposite side so that implies that the opposite is equals to the square root of u minus one so this one is the square root of u minus one that is the opposite right and now we can find sine of theta and cosine of theta so now that we have this we can find sine of theta sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse the opposite is the square root of u minus one over hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the square root of u cosine of theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse which is one over the square root of u so this is what we have and what about theta theta here 
we can find the tan of theta. Tan of theta here is equals to opposite over adjacent. The opposite is the square root of u minus 1 over the adjacent, which is 1. That implies that theta is equals to the tan inverse of the square root of u minus 1. So now we can take our integral into the u world. So i is going to be equal to 1 over 6 times theta. 1 over 6 times theta. Theta is the tan inverse of the square root of u minus 1. Minus 1 over 6. Sine of theta. Sine of theta is the square root of u minus 1 all over the square root of u. And then cosine of theta. Cosine of theta is 1 all over the square root of u. This is our integral in the u world. So i is going to be 1 over 6, the tan inverse of the square root of u minus 1, minus 1 over 6. Multiplying these guys out is going to be the square root of u minus 1 over the square root of u times itself is u. And now let's move back into the x world. So moving back into the x world, we know that u is equal to 1 plus x raised to the power 6. So we just replace u with 1 plus x raised to the power 6. So i is going to be equal to 1 over 6. Let me factorize it out again. And then we have the tan inverse of uh, u. u is 1 plus x raised to the power 6 minus 1 minus the square root of u minus 1. u is 1 plus x raised to the power 6 minus 1 all over u 1 plus x raised to the power 6 so you just replace u with 1 plus x raised to the power 6 nothing strange here so 1 over 6 common and then this is the tan inverse of um, 1 minus 1 you are left with x raised to the power 6 so that is the square root of x raised to the power 6 which is just x raised to the power 3 minus this is the square root of x raised to the power 6 which is x raised to the power 3 divided by 1 plus x raised to the power 6. So this one is the answer to our integral. So if we go to the very top, we see that the answer we got down there is exactly equal to the answer that I gave in the beginning. That is this one. So that is how to solve this kind of integral. So if you know an easier and faster way to solve this, please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think i thank you so much for watching this video if you really enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to calculus diaries for more engaging content on integrals i thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye